Delayed planting of strawberries reduces labor costs by reducing the time that you have to tend the berries in the field. Berries have to be hand hoed every seven days to keep the weeds out of them. Every week we shorten the season, we save that hoeing and that labor. We developed our de delayed planting system with the aid of a SARE farmer grower grant. We received um, two two-year cycle grants on which we basically trialed planting densities. We've trialed everything from six inches up to like 36 inches apart with different planting systems. And basically what we found is that if we're going to plant in July, we need to reduce our spacing down to about six inches. If we're going to plant in June, we can have what you see here, which is about 10 to 12 inches. Um, if you're planting in May, you can go with the customary spacing of about 24 inches apart with your plants. If the rye comes off early, we can plant our plants farther apart. If the rye comes off late, we take more plants, we just put them in closer to compensate for the lack of season. Usually we harvest rye first of June and get it baled in the first week of June. But some years, this year is a wet year, we're into the second week of June and we don't have all of our rye harvested yet. We're still getting that put by. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm. 